Hi, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to walk you guys through how to make your own design board. Some people call it a mood board. Either way, you don't need to be a professional interior designer to make a design board. This is a tool that you can use for your own home to pull any space together. If I'm doing a renovation, remodel, room makeover, or even just refreshing a space, I always like to make a design board so I can get a better idea of what the space is going to look like. Now, I've always used the free version of Canva to make my design boards up until about a week ago but I'll walk you guys through the process of using the free version. If you're not sure what Canva is, it's an awesome graphic design platform that you can use to create really any type of visual content. I use it for way more than just making design boards. If you enjoy these types of videos and learn something, I would love if you subscribed and gave this video a thumbs up. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to open up Canva here. If you've never used this site before, they're going to ask you to open up an account. Next, you'll want to create a design. You can choose any blank template for your design board. If you're going to post your design to social media, Canva has templates for each social media platform. Every platform requires a different dimension and Canva will automatically generate the correct dimensions for each platform so there's no guesswork involved. I'm just doing this design board to keep for myself so I'll do a standard presentation size template but you can see here I can use a template for Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be. Now that I have the blank template ready it's time to start finding the design elements. Today I'll be doing a design board for a bedroom using only Target products. So let's go to Target's website. I have already browsed the website and picked out some things that I want to use. I like to start with the rug or the biggest furniture items and then fill in the space with smaller items. I will link all of these products that I'm using in the description below in case you see something you like. So I'll grab a rug first. I love this Hearth and Hand line by Magnolia. I'll go with this 9x12 rug. You'll want to find a clean product picture. Some websites allow you to right click the picture and save it to your desktop, but the Target website doesn't allow you to do that for some reason, so I'm going to take a screenshot. To screenshot on Mac, it's Command Shift 4. Then I'm going to save all these product photos to a folder on my desktop. Next, I'll grab a bed. I like to use straight on clean shots of the product. You can use an angled product image or one with the bed already made. It's totally up to you and what you want to include in your design board. You'll notice that I like to keep mine pretty minimal and clean. So I'll take a screenshot of the bed and save it to my bedroom design board folder. A lot of times I have to put one thing at a time in the design board and try out two or three different items to see what works. But I already know what products I'm gonna use for this design board so I'll just go ahead and quickly save all the products to the design board folder so we can move on to the next step. Another line that I absolutely love from Target is Studio McGee. They have so many beautiful home items. Once again, you can find all of these products linked in the description below. Okay, now that I have all the products saved to a folder, I suggest removing the background of all your photos. This will really help to give your design board a professional look. You can do this in Canva with the paid version, but I'm going to show you another way you can do it in Microsoft Word. I'm sure there are some other applications you can do this in, but this is how I did it before I switched to the paid version of Canva. So take your photo, upload it to Word, double click the picture and then select remove background. You may have to mess with the background removal tools to get the full background removed. Press keep changes right click on the picture and then you can save the edited picture to the same folder or a new folder on your desktop. I already went ahead and removed the background of all my photos so we can move on to the next step. So let's go back into Canva, go to uploads on the left here and upload media, choose device and then upload the pictures from your folder. You can also just drag and drop your photos into Canva as well. If you have the paid version of Canva, you can remove the background by selecting your image, clicking effects, and then background remover. Before we go any further, I'd like to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning 
meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you and it's less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription i just finished a class by lauren cox called interior design basics simple steps to perfect your space if you're just getting started in interior design and want to start implementing some solid interior design principles in your own home, this would be a great class for you. Lauren is a professional interior designer and she will help you identify your personal design style, which will definitely come in handy when you're working on your design boards. There are so many interior design, photography, videography, social media marketing classes that I'm so excited to take. There's nothing better than getting better. Accomplishing growth is extremely satisfying and Skillshare's online classes make it possible. Thank you again Skillshare. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Okay, so now that all your photos are in Canva, you can start playing around with elements and trying them out in different areas. I like to try and position the items like how you might actually see them in the room, but it's totally up to you how you want to lay out your items. You can lay your items by selecting the photo and then clicking the position button. Then you can move the photo forward or backward depending on where you want them. You can also flip items. So this mirror, I actually want to flip horizontally so it works better in this corner. If you need some ideas, Pinterest is a great place to go and get some inspiration. You can get some ideas on how others lay out the elements in their design boards. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. So here's the finished design board. I'm going to go ahead and save the page as target bedroom. And then I'm going to save my whole design as design boards. This way I can come back here in the future and keep adding to my design boards. All you do is click the duplicate page button and you can start all over. I hope you guys learned some great tips on creating a design board. I hope you go check out some of the awesome classes that Skillshare has to offer. I usually do more hands-on DIY project type videos, but if you like these behind the scenes educational type videos, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have fun creating your own design boards. Thank you.